Hey guys, I'm Dylan Brooks and we're here at the Virginia Tech Greenhouses. So next we're going to do, be doing propagation by air layering. So for this we have a rubber plant. Normally this is done on difficult to root species or to rejuvenate house plants. The idea behind this is we're going to be going to be making a cut around the stem. This is going to actually cut and remove the flow of the plant. This stops any of the, the water or nutrients from flowing from the top portion down, but it's still able to take up water from the roots. This just allows it to stay alive longer and it's a little less maintenance on your part. So selecting your your cutting, here we have about about eight leaves on this side of it. You need about six inches to work with here. So that just means you have to cut a few of these, these extra leaves off so you have plenty of space to work with. Then after that, it's really, you want to cut about about a sixteenth of an inch deep. You don't want to go too deep and cut, cut through it. But I like to make two circular cuts all the way around it. Then after that, do your best to best to remove that that flow without going too deep into your plant. Now this plant is going to be still be absorbing water to keep this part alive, but it's going to promote roots right around there. So you want to take a little bit of rooting hormone. This is just just dip and grow right here, and you want to coat this top layer of the plant really well. Now we're going to be making the, the media to put around, put around and promote the root growth. Here we have a sphagnum peat moss that's been soaking in water. You want it as moist as you can get it right there. Take a big handful of this, and now we just have a, a normal sheet of saran wrap right there. This is going to keep as much of the water in as we can. Afterwards, we take our sheet of aluminum foil to wrap around this to keep it, keep it dark. And using the aluminum foil, you can wrap up the ends. Keep that moisture in there. We've got that down. It's about eight weeks, and then you should have, have roots and be able to move it from pot to pot. About two months later, we're going to unwrap it to see, see what it looks like now. So now we do have a few roots forming right there, which is exactly what we want to see. So we're going to take that and cut it off right, right below those roots in our former cut. And now that we have, have our good roots developing, it's time to pop, pop this up. Seeing as how we have so many leaves and so few roots, you may want to cut off the bottom one or two leaves right there. This is just going to slow down transpiration a little bit and allow it to keep some of the water from the roots.